You're taking a look at the White Mountains of Northern Arizona. Now this is off of Highway 60, US Highway 60. And this beautiful shot, even though I'm panning a little bit too fast from left to right, I don't know why I'm going so fast there. But this beautiful shot is shot on the LG V60. So I didn't intend on driving US Highway 60 just so I could talk about the LG V60. It just so happened to work out that way. At a time where we were looking at the Note 20 series, Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra, two huge phones that are hugely expensive, let's take a look at the LG V60, which is also a huge phone, not quite as expensive, and perhaps something that you'll find worthy of not only uh, your time watching this video, but worthy of your pocketbook and worthy of being able to use as your daily driver. Uh, now first let's talk about price. I've seen this phone for as little as $699.99 here in the United States and that's on T-Mobile's network. That's the phone by itself that does not come with the dual screen case, which we will talk about that in a separate video. AT&T, they're offering the LG V60 for $10 a month and they're giving you a credit to make that $10 a month, but within that you end up getting a dual screen for free as a mail-in rebate. So what you end up with is a phone of potentially tremendous value. And for the price, you are getting a whole lot of phone. Let's just cover some of the specs. So we've got eight gigabytes of RAM, we've got 128 gigabytes of onboard storage, and you can expand that with an SD card up to another two terabytes. You've got the Snapdragon 865 processor, you've got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, it doesn't come with a stylus, but it does have stylus support. It's IP68 water and dust resistant. It's got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, Gorilla Glass 6 on the back. Along with that military standard, that A10G rating, so you've got a little bit of peace of mind with added durability, although I still would not drop the phone myself if you can avoid it. And I would definitely get a case also since this is a little bit slippery. So tons of features, tons of value. Now you've got an aluminum frame surrounding the phone. On the left side, you've got your volume buttons and you've got a Google Assistant button dedicated just for that. On the right side, you've got your power button. Across the top, you've got your SIM card slash SD card tray. Again, you're talking about two terabytes, up to two terabytes on the SD card. On the bottom, you've got a bottom firing speaker, the USB-C port, and a headphone jack on a flagship for 2020. In addition to the bottom firing speaker, there's also a speaker grill just above the notch. It sounds fantastic. And again, here's another selling point when it comes to value. You don't necessarily have to spend a thousand over a thousand, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars, unless you have that money, in order to get a big, great flagship phone here in 2020. Uh, fingerprint sensor, muscle memory. If you lay your finger in just the right spot, it'll work for you just fine otherwise you're going to see try again quite often so even though i stress value in this video the, the fingerprint sensor is something that's it could be improved in my opinion now you've got the great speakers you also have the high fidelity quad deck as it says here um, what that translates to is that if you have wired headphones and pretty much any earbud whether they be cheap or really expensive you're going to get a fantastic sound experience out of this phone. And when I'm going through in the settings, you're taking a look at all the different options and you can see the emphasis on the V60, what LG puts into this phone when it comes just to audio. So again, the, the two speakers on the outside of the phone or the wired experience through the headphone jack. You're not going to be in any way, shape, or form disappointed with the audio experience that you can get out of the V60. And again, it's another value point to where you're not having to spend over $1,000 necessarily, unless you have the money to do so, but you're not having to spend over that amount in order to get a high-quality flagship phone in 2020. Now, considering how big this phone is, 
It is somewhat slippery. It's not as slippery as some of the other flagships over the last few years, but it's definitely slippery. It's definitely a fingerprint magnet. That's why I'm showing you the case. You'll definitely want to get a case, even though it's got the Gorilla Glass, even though it's got the military specs that makes it a little bit more durable, at least it can be marketed as more durable. You'll definitely want a case to make sure you handle this phone well. Now, it's huge. It's close to 220 grams. Even though it's got the aspect ratio of something close to 21 by 9, which means it should be a narrower phone, it's still big, it's still heavy. If you're not used to the larger phones, you're going to want to keep that in mind. If you can get into the store, the carrier store, and handle the phone a little bit just to get an idea of what it's like, you'll want to do that. Otherwise, if you're just going to go ahead and decide you're going to get this phone, just be prepared this phone is a lot larger than you might be accustomed to. But again, if you're thinking about the Note 20 series and you don't want to drop all of that money on it, then you already have the frame of mind, or your, your mindset will be ready for this phone. Let's get into the cameras. So you've got three cameras on the back. You've got a standard angle 64 megapixel camera, a wide angle 13 megapixel camera, and then you've got that time of flight Z camera, as they call it. On the front, you've got the 10 megapixel camera. In short, you're going to have a fantastic camera experience. Taking pictures, you can take pictures in manual mode. Taking video, you can also do video in manual mode. There's four microphones on the V60, so you can manipulate the audio as well with your video. Does it compare to the Galaxy S20 series? Like I have a video that I reviewed the Galaxy S20 Plus, and in that video I said one of the best all around camera experiences I thought could be found on the S20 Plus. And my answer would be yes. I mean, just take a look at this screen right now, or if you've been looking in the background as I've been talking about this, you're seeing all of these different options that you have in order to be able to take pictures, get just the right shot, in order to be able to get your video just right you've got just this whole slew of options that you can choose from look across the top here all the different options up to 8k and i believe it's either at 24 or 30 frames per second now you know 8k may be something that a couple of years from now would be you know, something that we can all utilize once 8k tvs become more ubiquitous and they're not as expensive but you do have that option now and beyond that you've got 1080p up to 60 frames per second. You've got 4K up to 60 frames per second. And going back to pictures, you have a good night mode, which you'll see in some of the photos that I'm gonna show here in just a moment as we go through a little montage of videos and photos. So to summarize, basically you're gonna have everything that you could ever need or want in a camera package, in a smartphone, in a flagship here in 2020 for as little as $699, or as little as $10 a month stretched out over whether it's 24 or 30 months. Now, if it sounds like I'm trying to sell you on the V60, I, in a way I am, and or at least I want to present a viewpoint for your consideration if you are thinking about getting into the Note 20 Ultra or even the Note 20, which I think the Note 20 Ultra, if you're gonna get into either one, it's gonna be the Ultra over the Note 20. That's just my personal opinion. but. I'm trying to at least give you a little bit more perspective if you're thinking about a phone of that size and all of its capability. The LG V60, I think it's something that's worth your consideration at least. I'm not saying go out there and rush out there and buy it, but at least just giving you some food for thought, giving you another perspective. Anyway, let me go ahead and I'll shut up. And let's take a look at some of the video listen to some of the audio let's take a look at some of the pictures uh, the camera capabilities of the LG V60 
Uh, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. So in this video, I've tried to make a strong case for the LG V60 in comparison to the Note 20 series that's coming out. And the reason why is because maybe you're interested in a high performance, great big smartphone, but you're not looking to spend $1,300 or more in order to be able to get into that. Now, yes, the regular Note 20 is going to start at $1,000, but still, again, the LG V60 can be had for under that at a starting price point. And in many cases, carriers will offer discounts so that you're able to get it for an affordable monthly payment. So now this isn't an advertisement for the LG V60. LG is not paying me a single dime for it, but just something worth your consideration. Thanks for watching.